it's Jada. So this is my year-end video. Don't mind my nails. Uh, they're kind of chipped from uh, cooking and washing dishes and stuff like that. Um, so today's video is about yearly goals. So I have been doing weekly goals for the past few weeks, maybe about three weeks now on Instagram and TikTok. I've been making like a little mini series where I do that every Sunday. So I decided um, for YouTube, um, I was going to do a yearly goal video. I wanted to do weekly goal videos for YouTube, but I just never got around to it. But, you know, maybe that's something we'll do in the new year. So, um, let me put my glasses. Okay, so starting off, um, what should our first goal be? So, going into this new year, I am dropping some new products in January. I'm dropping my Valentine's Balm, which is my self-love balm, which is a love letter bath balm with a laminated self-affirmation inside of it. And then I'm dropping my pedicure bath bombs which is a mini bath bomb it's a one inch bath bomb with menthol crystal in it um so for it's for your feet and then i'm also dropping my body oil and then i also wanted to do wholesaling so i'm thinking um so i'm thinking I'll do it like this. I'll make it like a timeline. So, really fast. So, 2022 goals. So, January. Drop new website. Because I do want to do my website over again. I want to like, see if I want to change it or anything like that. Drop new website. And we're just going to plan about six months so I guess we should say this is like 2022, six months goals, and then in six months we'll come back and do some more goals. No, yeah, yeah, because this is like a mix of like yearly and six months, but this is mainly six months goals. So like January, we'll drop the new website. I want to release new products, the new products, the self-love bombs the body oil and the what else did I say um what else did I say the body oil all oh, the pedicure bombs pedicure bombs so that'll be out of the way so then, February, I want to release wholesale stuff. So January, I'll be hinting at wholesale stuff and saying it's going to launch February. And then February, I'll release what I'm going to wholesale. And I'm thinking about wholesaling my soaps. Um, I'll do like a loaf mold soap so they can cut it themselves. Um, the body oils, maybe the beard oils, I'm not sure yet. The um, pedicure bombs, maybe the bath bombs, but maybe just the one inch ones. I'm not sure about the three inch ones yet. And then um, maybe the body polish and, and the lip scrubs. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking about, wholesaling. So, so yeah, so we'll release the wholesale stuff in February, and then also start going to markets again. Because I'm, I've been doing online markets and I'll continue to do online markets throughout this entire time. But, like, in fact, I'm signed up for 
I think two in January. I know for sure one. But I want to um, start going to in-person ones again um, in February. My lips are dry. This is from, um, what's what it's called? Shooting Star Shop, by the way. It's very good. You guys should go and shop for her, from her. Oh, by the way, my journal. Hold on. You guys can't see that. Hold on, let me. Can you kind of see it now? Yeah, you can kind of see it now. This journal. Is from iTasty. At the time in this video, I don't know if she'll still have some left, but if she does on her website, you should definitely cop one. It's a good quality. It's a nice little journal. I'm writing my yearly goals in it from now on, and I think she says she's gonna do more in the future. Possibly, if she does, it won't be the same style. It'll be a different style. I'm definitely gonna cop that one as well. Gotta collect them all like Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that's January, February. Okay, so March. What are we doing for March? March is... Oh, February, we should also do Easter stuff. So March, we're selling Easter stuff as well. I don't know what Easter even is. Let me check on my phone. Let me see when Easter even is. Daylight savings. So I guess Easter is in Palm Sunday. Yeah, Easter is in April. So I'm going to start selling in February Easter stuff, and then we'll go through March with Easter stuff, and then April is when we'll be ending it. It'll be going on clearance. So then March, I'll also have what's going on in April. April's still Easter. Um, March, I'll be doing... What will I be doing March? I'm probably going to be unveiling something new. Oh, you know what I want to do by March? I want to have my Yoni wash done by March. And launched. I want to unveil a, a Yoni wash. So, um, I'm trying to gather the ingredients for that right now. I've got half of them right now. And I've got the foamer bottles that I wanted because I want it to be a foam wash. And I'm just trying to get the other ingredients right now. And I'm working on a formula. trying to, And I'm going to like test it and everything like that. So, um, working on that. But definitely want to unveil that by March. So, Yoni Wash will be launched then. Yeah. And then April, we'll launch Mother's Day stuff. Because Mother's Day is May. And then May, we'll launch Father's Day stuff. And then June, graduation stuff. Well, May and June, we'll do graduation stuff. Because I graduate in May. So that's going to be a busy time for me. But I'll do graduation stuff around May and June. So that's not really goals. That's just make me planning out my next six months. So now let's actually talk about my goals. So I hit three goals this year. So my business has been in business for about ten months. So, I hit three goals. I hit 50 sales online. 
I hit 500 followers on Instagram and I hit 1300 on uh, TikTok. I'm very excited about that. So my 2022 goals for the next six months is the goal is to try to get to 1600, no 17, let's try for 1700 on TikTok. So for TikTok, let's get to 1,700 followers. And I feel like that might be a stretch because, I, I mean, it took us this long to get to 1,300. But it didn't take me that long to get to se to 1,000 because I was, like, following people and they were following back. And I feel like if I try that method again, I'll gain followers. But I've also been going live more. So that might also gain me some followers, too. So, um, I feel like if I continuously go live, like, I'll start gaining more followers. I just have to figure out the right amount of time to go live and the right content to do on live. Yeah. Um, because I go live and I have people that flit in through my room, but I'm not having, I'm not retaining viewership, which is kind of hard. But, I'm sure I'll get it. So then the next goal is Instagram. I want 1,100 followers. So we got the 500 and it took us 10 months, but I was only actively trying to get followers in the last two months. So before that, I wasn't really actively trying. Like, I wasn't following other people, hoping that they would follow me back. I wasn't really posting content or anything like that. And kind of the same with TikTok. Like, I wasn't really posting content either. Um, I would just do stuff here and there. But I've been actively trying to post content now. So I think I can... I, I feel like... Six months is enough time for me to get to 1,100 followers and 1,700 followers. I, I feel like that's enough time. So, those are my goals for those two. To get to 1,700 and 1,100 followers. YouTube, I think I only have two followers right now. Um, hi, two followers. Hi. Um, my goal is... I don't know, like 20 followers. Let's just say YouTube was 20 followers. Yeah, that's 20 followers. And then um, I am at 50 online sales right now. Um, the goal is to get to. 20 more sales, so say 70, 70 more sales, well not 70 more sales, but 70 total sales, so 20 more, and then What else can we do? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are those goals for those. Um, I'm hoping for more sales. My, my yearly goal is to get 150 sales. Like, to, to get to a total of 150 sales. So that in these two years, I would have had 150 sales total. That's the goal. Do I think I'll get there at this time and point? I don't think so. I think I can get to 100. I think I just do better at markets right now. And... 
I think that's because people can see the scents and they can smell them and everything like that. And I think it's also, I don't know, stuff looks better in person. But I'm going to try my hardest to take better pictures. Um, I am already working on better labels. I think the labels look much better now. I think that might draw people in. Um, I'm going to try to do much better pic uh, videos on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to be really pushing my advertising, posting, and everything like that. <sighs> This is going to be a very busy year for me because I am, this is going to be my second year in business. I am graduating college with my bachelor's. I am going to be starting my master's degree. So hopefully my master's degree. Um, so it's going to be very busy. Um, But I feel like it's going to be very rewarding. So. Yeah. So that's what I got for you guys today. Tonight. Um, I hope you had a very good holiday. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. It is December 5th. 25th. When I'm making this video. Um, it's like 10.30 at night. I just thought I'd make the video though. Um, and. I hope you guys have a happy New Year's. I'm going to try to post more regularly, like a video every week, maybe every few days or something like that. Um, I hope you guys have a great New Year. Hope you have many success, many successes. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the new year and if you like the video like it subscribe to my channel for new videos and I'll see you guys later